Hi guys, we're here today at Quartus Association. Uh, we bought a few bags of Speedy B3 for the ponies and we're going to have a chat to Marika about what they do, when they started and kind of just a broad idea of, of what Quartus is all about. Okay, just give me an idea. When did you guys start? What do you do? What's your aims with the situation? So we started nearly 24 years ago. Yeah. Um, when the when the guys lived in District Six, they were close to the markets. They ran product to the fish market, mm -hmm. to the veggie markets, whatever. Then they were forcibly removed, and they were far away from the markets. They didn't have feed or anything, so the horses grew increasingly thinner and were abused. And then two ladies stepped up and they started feeding horses out of their boot. And that's how Cartel's Protection Association got started. Yeah. Um, then we've grown tremendously over the past 23 years. We have four inspectors at the mm -hmm. moment and one um, law enforcement officer. And then we have this clinic here. So here we basically supply farriery to the horses and feed and we give them shavings as well. So the shavings they get for free. The ferry is heavily subsidized. They pay 100 rand for a full set of shoes. And then the feed is also subsidized. And then while they're here, their harnesses get checked, the horses get checked. If a horse is considered to be too thin, he's actually booked off. He's not allowed to work and he doesn't get shoes. And if he is caught on the road without shoes, it's considered abuse and the horse can be confiscated. So we basically police them, but on the one side, we also provide them with services and education. We have meetings with all the owners. We know all the owners. Um, yeah, so we provide them with education to show the younger guys coming up in the industry how they can look after their horses. Basically now they don't they don't go to the markets anymore. They work scrap. So they go around um, suburban neighborhoods and they pick up scrap metal, which they then sell to make a living from. And is there anything that the community at large can do to help you guys out? Yes. We have four inspectors, but obviously they can't be everywhere yeah. all the time. So all the horses are registered and they have a, a number plate on the back of the cart with a unique number. So we have a number that people can call and then they tell us the name and the number of the horse and where they saw them and then we can actually act on that complaint. So if they saw see horses being overloaded or being abused, we can act on that. And, and we can, so they can help us that way. And donations, as, as any NGO, we always need money. We don't get any governmental support. So, yeah, we, we operate purely on public donations. Awesome. Thank you very much. Right, guys, so that's how cartels functions. That's what cartels do. And if you like to contribute in any form or fashion, have a look in the comment section below. I'll put the link up for their website and for their Facebook addresses. Thanks, guys. Have a lovely day. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and buzz the bell. En onthou, kijk noord en fok voort.